This is a picture of the North Bridge that's on that motherboard we were just looking at. As I mentioned, this is what really is connecting the memory and the CPU together. So almost all computers are going to have these, but what you're going to find is sometimes they're difficult to see. This is a chip that works very, very fast, and it gets very hot. It's doing a lot. So you'll very often see a heat sink on top of it. There may be fans on top of it. So you may not even be able to see it down there. It's got so many things cooling this chip constantly that it may be hard to find on your motherboard if you were to, to look at it. The South Bridge usually doesn't have that level of heat coming off of it, doesn't always have a heat sink on it. This is the South Bridge on my computer. Notice the South Bridge on my computer is physically near things like my PCI slots. It's physically near the graphics adapter that's built onto my motherboard. It's physically near the BIOS. That's for a reason. We want to have those buses and the length of the bus on the motherboard as short as possible. So everything is connecting into the South Bridge tends to be in that same geographic region of the motherboard. So if you find your South Bridge, you're going to notice that it's always near some of those other ports that are on the back. Or at least we try to design them that way on the motherboards. Now what I'd like to do is take that picture of the motherboard that we looked at with the CPU and the North Bridge and the South Bridge, and let's take the picture of our motherboard and see what these look like. So we'll take the same picture. There's the motherboard that I use in my office. Let's overlay right on top of it the CPUs. I know those CPUs are right there at the top. My memory is right here. So as you might expect, my North Bridge is going to be right in the middle between my CPU and my memory. And indeed, that's exactly where it sits, that memory controller hub. Now I've got other things down here, PCI adapter slots, and they're all going to connect in with the South Bridge. So the South Bridge and the North Bridge connect to each other, of course. And all of those other components that are down here on my computer, like the onboard graphics controller, the BIOS, and all these other ports on my computer are all going to connect up through the South Bridge. It's going to handle controlling the communication for all of those across the bus. As I was looking at my motherboard for this module, I found a number of chips, chipsets on my motherboard that I didn't recognize offhand. So what I wanted to do was find out more about it. Now, well, fortunately, every chip has something written on it. For instance, on my motherboard, there was a chip that said Intel and had GD82559. And so I, of course, went to Google. That's where you go for these things to find out what it was. And in this particular case, it told me that that was an Intel adapter for networking. And so I knew, oh, that was part of the network ports that are on this motherboard. It's a network controller. There are other components on the motherboard that are associated with things around it. So COM2 is, has a serial controller associated with, with it. If there's a SCSI interface, there's probably buffer memory that's scattered around it. And you're going to be accustomed to seeing those things. And as you go through and you document what's on the motherboard and you look at the chips and you put those into Google, you'll start getting an idea of, oh, that's memory. Oh, that's the flash. That's the BIOS. And then when you go to the next motherboard, you're going to be accustomed to seeing these things in almost exactly the same place, just shift it around just a little bit. So as you go through and, and grab one of your motherboards, look and see what's on your computer. Unplug the back, open it up, get a flashlight, a magnifying glass, find those, those names, find those words and characters on the chips, run them through Google. You'll find out pretty quick exactly the way your motherboard's laid out. Let's review what we've learned about chipsets. We know that the, our first question here is going to be which part of the motherboard is responsible for the communication between the CPU and the system memory. It's right there at the top of my motherboard and the top that made sense because it was the North Bridge, or also known as the Memory Controller Hub. Second question, which chipset controls the Flash BIOS ROM? Well, it was that chipset down near the bottom of my motherboard or the South Bridge or the IO Controller Hub, we also call it. And our last question, which chipset connects to high performance video components? Well, if we're talking about high performance, we're probably not talking about the South Bridge. We're talking about the North Bridge. And although we call it the Memory Controller Hub, it can also connect to some of those high speed interfaces on our computer as well. Well, that covers what we needed to know for our 22701 Section 1.2 on chipsets. Hopefully now you can open up your system, look at your motherboard, know exactly what's going on on that little city they are built onto the motherboard of your computer. If you'd like to watch any of our other free A-plus videos, you'd like to participate in our message boards or much more, you can visit our website at freeaplus.com.